Hi, my name is Tom. Today I'm going to be checking the alarm history on my Yasukawa Sigma 2 servo amplifier. I'm going to get started. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials that I'll need for today and a brief project description. If you follow the hyperlink, it should take you directly to the Yasukawa webpage where the amplifier is located, or you can go to drives.com. And I'm going to continue scrolling down here and show you the step-by-step -step guide that I have. But I will be performing this in a few seconds here. So you can pause at any time. And that's it for the step-by-step -step guide. Here I have a Yasukawa Sigma 2 servo amplifier where I would like to check the alarm history. In order to do this, I must be in the auxiliary function mode. So I will press the mode set button, which is the button on the left. That brings me into the auxiliary function mode. Now I will press and hold the data button, which is the button on the right, until the alarm history is displayed. With the alarm history displayed, use the up or down arrow buttons to scroll through the alarms. The controller will store up to the 10 of the most recent alarms. Now as you may notice here, from 3 through 9, I have no alarms. Now to back out and go back to the original display, you will press and hold the data button until you back into the auxiliary function mode. Then press the mode set button until you're back into base block where the screen reads BB. And that's it. So if you liked the video, or you learned something, let me know. Leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.